secret. Okay. We had two things. Um, Yeah, so... What was this that you're working on? This is kind of neat. So we, you know, uh, we have CO2 sensors, which are wonderful. Uh, but we saw from Sensirion, they're coming out with a new sensor, uh, upgrade to the SCD-30. It's the SCD-41. It's 11 more. Uh, this is a very small CO2, temperature and humidity sensor. I think it's a true CO2 sensor. Um, and uh, it's just very tiny. Uh, so we thought we would make a little stomach QT breakout for it. It's I squared C. And even better, they wrote a driver for Arduino and Python. So it'll be like super ready to go. Very fast. Okay. And then you sent this off. I sent off a panel. Uh, look, because I'm no longer doing RP2040 stuff that uh, I don't talk about, I can show off my panels. I couldn't show like the panels before because there's always like an RP2040 board that I was like, I can't show what this is because it's not out. But now... Now we're, uh, or, you know, other secrets. Uh, but this one is, there's no secrets here. Uh, so you take okay. a on me. Um, so you can check these out, see what we're working on, maybe guess what some of these products are. Maybe you can make some good guesses. All right. And uh, we have a video. This is a little bit of a recap from what was on the show and tell. So this is a, this will be maybe the first time some people have ever seen it. Other top secrets. Do you want to... Talk about what this is. Oh, yeah. This is a um, pocket chip. So it's a, uh, if you people remember the pocket chip, it was a little Linux handheld. Uh, and then there was a module, and then they made this handheld that held the module. And they actually uh, closed shop a couple of years ago. Um, but I really missed it. And I thought, like, you know, it would be great to have one that was a Raspberry Pi. And so when the compute modules came out, I was like, dude, we have to make a pocket chip. And I saw that Timon was doing stuff with the compute module. So I was like, well, you've already got compute module stuff going on. You know how to use these things. Uh, we want to contract you to design a pocket chip, a little handheld computer with a TFT screen. And this is not the final uh, physical version. Also, there's no TFT screens on planet Earth right now um, due to the part shortage. Uh, so this is in development, and I have some ideas. But what I think is really neat is he used this I2C to keyboard converter to save us a USB port. So um, the kernel reads the I2C keyboard it doesn't have a usb plug which means the usb plug is available at the top for your hacking pleasure back in the vault back in the vault <laughs>